Let's talk to, to the king. Yo, yo. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Nico the Beast. 30 and over league zone. And I'm back. And I'm better than ever. Even though I'm toothless in there, don't matter. Still got bite with these bars. You can check me out. 40-year-old version just dropped. Spotify, all the, you know, YouTubes and whatever you need to do with all these modern things, you know, digital service providers. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, this music thing is the easiest thing we could do. It's the life thing that we got to start working on. Incorporate more of your life in your music and you'll see people gravitate towards it. Because right now it just feels like a lot of lifeless shit is out there. But we're coming back. Back and better than ever. Let me ask you something, brother. When you just listen to your own personal catalog, what are some of your favorites that you like like to put on, just to vibe to, just as a fan? I would say uh, overall, I like a lot of stuff from Dinner Serve Volume Two, uh, featuring you know my boy Bless. A lot of league stuff, Thirty and Over League. Um, personal favorites though, Make Believe off of the Beast Within, um, because it's a song that's really personal. It's about my wife and what we endured. Uh, in 2009 when we lost our son and when I was in a car crash that was the beginning of a lot of the trials and tribulations but over time you know the music actually became life and for me um, my wife always was the champion always was the one that she's always going. been supportive you get like you're truly a part of a hip hip hop family yep. Do daughter's got skills yep. wife has a beautiful business mind yep. and um You've all, all, always been, been around, brother. Let me ask, ask you this right quick. If you had something to speak to young Nico the Beast, if you were able to travel back in time, what would you say, say to him about this uh, hip-hop thing? What I would say to him is, in 2000, avoid the trap of trap. Mm. And then make sure that you keep on going live. Right. Live performances. Live performances. Do everything yeah. you could possibly do live. Right. Don't worry about the recording as much because what you're gonna do is you're gonna get into your mind and try to perfect everything, and everything don't come out perfect. You know when you work on the imperfections the most when you're on a live stage and the microphone is yours and you're not rapping over your lyrics and you gotta actually know your shit when you're saying it and feel your shit when you're saying it. Because if you don't mean it, the crowd's going to know it, and they're going to let you feel it. And, and a lot of performances do it. allow you, you to feel that. That's it. And I, I feel like a lot of the times when I would do a song in the studio, I would go and perform it live, and then it would be a completely different song. Right. Now I should go re-record it, but it's like you've already released it. You've already put it out. Do it live as much as possible before you go and put it on a record. That's Yo, brother. man, salute, brother. I appreciate you. You, you. you be around. You've been around. I hope to have the honor of knowing, knowing you for many more years, brother. Appreciate you. I appreciate salute, you. Salute, brother. And Tom and Gunner G's and the whole Marston House. Appreciate you, and I love you. Thank you. All right.